subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Right guys, before we start this video, this is just a little message for my baby brother Tom Stoltman, aka the world's strongest man. We've been home now for almost three weeks to see that Tom is the world's strongest man and how far he's come, you know, from when he was a, a baby boy with his autism, you know, not able to go out by himself, not able to be confident to go out and do anything, to now being 27 years old and being the world's strongest man. I think it's incredible. If it was any other sport in the world, Tom would probably be given a knighthood for what he's done. You know, he's, he's got autism, he's from the Highlands of Scotland in Invergordon, where predominantly nothing much happens. You know, we, we have a tendency as Highlanders to always not live up to our potential. Um, and I think that's what Tom's really done. You know, he's, he's had that self-belief and he's lived up to his true potential. And he's showed everyone in the world that he is the strongest and the best strength athlete in the world. I wish I was, but I'm not at the moment. So, you know, big up to Tom, that's amazing. But it's just it just goes to show you that um, we do get left out a lot of the time as strong men, as, as strength athletes. You know, we don't get that recognition that I truly think we deserve because we put our bodies through hell in what we do. You know, we're no different from any other world-class athlete. For me, Tom, you deserve a, a knighthood for the, the work you've done. The level um, you compete at is incredible. And what you're doing for autism um, is incredible to see as well. You're giving kids that's, that's been labelled, you know, with whatever it is, a hope and kind of another chance, you know, so you're making, you've made autism your superpower and that's what I hope that the, the kind of next generation, the children um, of today, you know, will, will take from that is just because you're labelled with something doesn't mean that you have to give up and not do anything. You're the living proof that miracles do happen because you're a miracle to us all. A huge credit to the Stoltman name and I know Whatever mum is, she's looking down with the most biggest, proudest smile that she's ever had. So I just can't uh, speak highly of you enough. I'm so proud of you. And anyway, that's my little message. Enjoy your training, guys. What's up, everybody? My name's Luke. And I'm by myself today because the champ is not here. He's having some R&R. &R. He's away for a little bit of a spa day. I think he's doing a podcast at the moment with some guy in Inverness. So I'm left all alone to do the packaging, the painting, all the bits and pieces. So I'm doing my event today. It's Thursday today. Kush and I are away to London tomorrow uh, for the weekend. Her best friend, Beth, and her husband, Richard, they just had a baby girl. Congratulations to you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, so really excited to go down and see them, spend a bit of time with with friends and loved ones and just have a nice relaxing weekend. So today, like I say, I've got events. So we've got Royal Albert Hall coming up. I'm working on Axel Clean and Press. I've got Hercules Hold, Frame Carry, and we're doing some stones as well to finish off. So four events. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, my actual clean and press. Um, since I've got back from Worlds, my kind of bicep tendon just in here has been giving me a bit of grief. Um, trying to rectify it, doing physio, hot and cold, um, whatever we can to kind of get it okay. Uh, so you see the first one, I kind of 
I don't think that was, that was me just being a fanny. I almost knocked myself out. So we had the 170, felt comfortable enough. It was supposed to be a 5-3-1, but just with my tendon, tendons in my arms, doing those five reps is more kind of detrimental at the moment because um, I won't be able to go and do stones after. But one thing I noticed, so what I'm going to do is just a 30 second hang now, um, which really helps kind of, I don't know the science behind it, but it helps ease off the tendon. So I'm going to do that, then I'm going to do some Hercules hold, go up the warehouse, do some frame, push bash bosh, do some stones, do stash dish. That's it. Still missing you, Tom. Love you. I'm just doing the hag now just to get my tendons a little bit stretched out. Um, kind of 30 seconds up here um, really seems to kind of help with the tendons. I don't know why, maybe just the stretch. But it uh, kind of preps me for the, the Hercules hold, what we're doing next. I've just got to go and try and set up the Hercules hold by myself. It's a little bit of a, should be a two man job, but I think I'm more than capable of doing the job of two men. <laughs> How was that like? The grip was fine, but um, with the position and obviously other people using it, I didn't, I didn't have it set to my. So I'm one up, Tom's three up, and it felt when I had it, it kind of felt like this was locked, so it was going against my thumb, so it was like pushing my thumb open, which wasn't very nice. Doing it in the competition as well, you're used to that horribleness. You know, it's just a horrible event. You just got to hold on. That's literally all you have to do. So. But it's holding on, but then getting your mindset for it that, yeah, it's going to be hard, you know, after 30 seconds, it's going to start to hurt. And you've got another 30 seconds and then another, you know, it's, it's about kind of going into that kind of painful place and, and just accepting that it's going to hurt and you know you're going to be fine after. So it's just, um, but it looks like I've got a little mouth there. I don't know if you can see. Uh, hi, I'm Tom. This is Tom. Hi, I'm, I'm Tom. I'm the champion. I'm world's strongest man. Hey, Tom. Hi, Luke. I'm Tom. Jeb's here. <laughs> Hi, guys. Stay spicy. Sixty. Sixty-five. I like that Shazam. Makes me happy. No, I was thinking about that same. What's that? The number I was saying to myself. 22. We are back, sorry, I'm back in the warehouse. Just had a phone call from Tom, so Tom was just on a podcast actually with, um, I forget the guy's Duncan name. Duncan Shaw. Duncan Shaw, and Duncan Shaw's apparently living with Danny McCaskill, so we're going to do a collab with Danny on bikes. Hope he's got stabilizers for Tommy and me. Um, so that's cool. Anyway, so yeah, in the warehouse, so back to some event training. I've got. Um, 300 kilo frame for a couple of sets and then stones to finish off today. This week's been really good training actually, it's been nice to get back into everything. Feels like it's back into a routine now. Um, so eating well, training's going well, getting the offices sorted, everything's kind of, well for me anyway, because I'm not the champ. So hopefully I can change that next year, but if not, never mind. 
Back to well. So, but everything is in, in routine. So I just spoke to uh, our psychologist Amy yesterday. So quite exciting things going on with her. Um, she just wrote a really good article. Um, just started reading her, reading her book, uh, Skewed to the Right. Really good read. Um, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't be able to understand the big fancy words, but so far so good. So I would really recommend that. Can you read? Well, like, <laughs> I, I, I know what words look like, and I can kind of best guess. Like, they're a bit fuzzy. Like, ah and the. I can do that. So I'm pretty good at that. And you. Only if it's like the letter U. Why have you got a mask on, Nick? Um, it's to restrict my breathing. Um, so I increase the oxygen flow. You know what I mean? My name's Ben! <laughs> you merely accepted the darkness. I was born in the dark. <laughs> that was me just doing some pickups, just to get my grip warmed up even more. I know it's still, um, I did the Hercules hold so the grip's fine, but just picking it up, getting my glutes ready, hamstrings fired up, lower back. Um, so we're up to 300, which is the working weight today. Um, so Dan's put in the programme 325, it's three sets of 25 metres, which kind of mimics, or a little bit more mimics than the, what we'll be doing at the Royal Albert Hall. So I'm going to go down, drop it, that'll be one set, and back up, that'll be one set. So I'll probably do about four sets back and forth, um, just to make up the, the 100 metres, or sorry, the 75 metres that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and yeah, just take it from here, so my grip will be nice. Nice and burnt out by this, I think. As you saw in a couple of videos ago, we are expanding, we've got the offices set up, which will be pretty cool. Um, and then we're going to be getting a little bit more efficient in, in merchandise, so everything will be in stock constantly. Apologies for the stuff that's been out of stock. Um, but we are going to release a couple of new designs, leave a legacy, create a legacy t-shirt, and then a, a kind of limited edition uh, Tom Stoltman. World Strongest Man 2021 t-shirt, so we're working on the designs just now, um, they will be coming out um, hopefully in the next couple of months we'll be releasing them. Also just ordered up some posters, so they'll be here in around a week I believe, um, they will be limited edition as well, so I think I've ordered, or we've ordered a hundred posters, A1 size, so quite a nice size, um, so hopefully you guys like them, we can sign them. Whatever, whatever you want us to say, we'll do it, because we're nice like that. So stay tuned for the new merchandise. Thank you for buying merch like this. Much appreciated. And we love you all. Hands still intact, which is nice. Now going on to stones. So do a cut of I was just going up to 140 today for sets of around five. I think that's what it says in the program. So try and hit that. And then that'll be it. I think we've got some bits and pieces later on. I'm going to go for a swim later. Reset the mind as well as recover my body. I highly recommend it. If you don't do it, never mind.
that's the training session complete. Um, sorry Tom wasn't here. Hope you're having a nice spa day with Sinead Tom, you deserve it. Uh, Tom's going to do his training tomorrow like we said, obviously chatting about that. Kush and I are going down to London, that'll be nice. Uh, training went well, quite happy with everything today. Get the tendons fixed up and then we'll be ready to go. Yeah, so feeling good. Gonna chill now, I've got a cheap meal tomorrow night and Saturday. Nathan just messaged me, buzzing. Happy, happy, happy. Um, so yeah, that's it. Video over, we'll catch you next week. Thank you for watching, stay safe, smile, stay spicy. Don't forget to keep ringing that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling -a -ling, Tom. Dong, dong, dong. <laughs>